Hercules, Hercules, I am so freaking excited. We have roared this month as a team, as a community, and the Glam Squad has freaking roared this month. It is the last day of the month, and we have recruited 17 people as a team. And that yeah. is overwhelming and super exciting. And I was thinking about this, um, talking about this for the team call this week, because there are so many of you that have just recruited some people for the first time, or you're just really like maybe one or two people in, it's still new to you. And I thought about it at first and I was like, oh, well, it's because Unique did this incentive, right? Where we get paid commissions for everybody that buys the kit. But it's not really the incentive. It's the work that you put in because of the incentive, right? So now you have a gauge. You know what it takes to recruit. Whether there's an incentive or not, you know how many messages you had to send, you know the kind of people you had to reach out to in order to make that happen, and now you have a very clear picture on how to duplicate it, right? Because until you start recruiting people, it's like this big mystery, like how do I do it? How do I add people? How do I, you know, become a leader? Once you recruit one or two or three, you start to put together the Rubik's Cube and you start to see what it takes. And this month, every, like so many of you have proven that you have what it takes to build a team. Now there's no excuse because now you've done it, right? Now you've signed one, now you've signed two, now you've got a team of four or five or whatever. I do not care if they are kidnappers. You might need to recruit 10 kidnappers to find one runner. That's okay. It's building momentum. And the last thing that you want to do is start to think, oh, well, they're just kidnappers. Because 90% of the people on this team told me they were just going to be kidnappers. 90%. Very few people join this company and say, I'm just going to take over the world. Nobody does that. Why? Because we want to manage expectations, because we don't want to set ourselves up for failure, because we're insecure and we're unsure about this new journey. We don't want to get our hopes too high. So almost everybody sets the bar very low and says, I just want to be a kidnapper, right? And that's okay, because some of them will be. But many of you have started to blossom out of that kidnapper category into something else. What is that going to be? I don't know. And you don't either. But we're starting to find it out. We're starting to get some rhythm. And you don't want to um, slow the momentum down and be like, okay, I recruited a couple in July. I'm going to take it easy in August. That's not how it works. Momentum requires speed and energy, right? So if you slow down, guess what slows down? Your business, right? In fact, we should double down on this energy, double down on this excitement. We've recruited 17 this month. That's our second biggest month in Glam Squad history. It is astronomical numbers, and I only see it growing the more we learn how to do this. And what this month gave us was a blueprint. It gave us a blueprint. There are people on this team that have recruited their very first person. And that's huge. How does that feel inside? How does it feel to sign someone? Because I'll tell you, after recruiting 93 of them, 94 of them, it still feels just as good every single time. Every single time somebody chooses me to be their mentor. Every single time somebody says, yes, I'm ready. It doesn't wear off. It gets more exciting. Right. And when you can get a bunch of them going at once, girls, you got to ride that train. I want you to ride that train. I recruited five last week. I recruited five girls in 48 hours. I want you to feel that feeling. I want you to have that excitement and that energy and know what momentum actually looks like. OK, but it won't happen if you start to slow down. It won't happen if you start saying things like, oh, they're just kidnappers. It won't happen if you start saying things like, nobody really wants the kit. Because if 
you're only doing this because we got the commissions. I want to be very careful with how I say this because I don't want to sound like a B. But if you only recruited people because you were getting the commissions this month, then you're in the wrong business. This isn't about the money. This is about everything else that comes with it. The life changing opportunity. That $20 in commissions. Okay, so Sherry Brown said this to one time in one of her trainings. And she said it like this. If you see somebody post the leaderboards and you're not in the leaderboard and you know that you want to be on the leaderboard and then you go out and you send 20 messages and you $500 in sales to boost yourself up onto that leaderboard, then you need to take a long, hard look at yourself and what you're doing because you could have done that before the leaderboards were posted, right? So if you're only recruiting for the commission, you need to take a long, hard look because you got, you got some success. You could have done that without the commissions. What is motivating you? What is driving you, right? Do you want to build a team or do you want to just make $20? Do you want to be a leader, right? Do you want to stand on stage and, and be recognized for your effort? Do you want a team of women that are linking arms with you that show up, you know, that reach out? I mean, I can't even talk to you guys about how many times somebody on this team has said, how close are you to orange? What can I do to help? Like that is loyalty and love, right? And that to me is way more than getting $20 for somebody to sign up for a kit right? I want to celebrate with you guys. I want to dance and sing and cry and laugh and go balls to the wall. And there's already some excitement happening. We're going to Cancun this week. Holly, Michelle's going to be there. It's going to be a blast. Holly and I are registered almost. Holly's registered for Cancun. That's another amazing thing that's coming up next year. You guys get ready. Get ready. Now is the time where we plant those seeds so that we can harvest it at the end of the year and roll right into 2019, ready, ready to earn that trip. Okay, everything about what's happened in July, all of the bells and whistles. Do you know like those little, um, what is it when you, in your garden, the wind, not wind chimes, but uh, like the little things in your garden. So when the, like when there's a, a, <laughs> Pinwheel. Oh, no. Welcome, to, welcome to my That's world. Steam, steam, smoke. My brain is just on fire right now. <laughs> anyway, all the bells and whistles, all the alarms are going off, right? All the signs are saying abundance is happening, momentum is happening. All we have to do is tap into it and ride the wave because I will tell you this right now. I don't know if you believe in the energy of the universe. I don't believe, I don't know if you believe in the secret and if you put it out there, you will, you're going to receive it. But the day before I recruited those five people, I stood in my backyard with no shoes on and I meditated, walked back and forth in a meditation walk back and forth. And I said, abundance, I'm ready for you. I said, creativity, I'm ready for you. I said, success, I'm ready for you. The next day was the beginning of my flood, five people in 48 hours. The next day, okay? That is not the first time the universe has delivered what I've wanted. Um, and, I, and I'll give you one more example, just because I'm such a strong believer in the secret, in the energy of the universe and what you put out there. Uh, three years ago, I was working my government contracting job. Some of you may have heard this story already. I was working 50 hours a week and I was driving an hour each way to commute to Fort Meade and I hated my life. I was missing all of my kids' practices. I was not there to help them with homework. I, I, I was getting ready to start yoga teacher training and I was just tapped. And the yoga teacher says to me, or to the entire class, we're doing this breathing technique. And she says, I want you to let go of something that's not serving you. And I said, I want to let go of my job. I hate this job. This job is terrible. I don't want it anymore. A week to the day later, I was laid off. Hmm. A week to the day later, I was laid off. The universe listens. 
put it out there. Constantly remind yourself. Are you brave enough to say something like, abundance, I'm ready for you. Success, I'm ready. Let's go. Are you ready? Like tap into that, feel that energy, ride the wave of this momentum because it's coming. The storm is coming. Do you guys remember two months ago? Like what, it was like April or something like that. And I was like, girls, I'm really working. I know we haven't recruited anybody, but watch the floodgates are about to open. Remember when I said that in a team call, I hope you guys remember that because I promise yeah. this, I promise this. I knew if we just kept doing the work, this is what would happen. Okay, and 17 in one month is nothing, nothing compared to what we can do. The leaders in here, the minds in this business, the beauties that we have here, the strength and the power that we have together, we could triple that easily. I know it, I know it. 17 is amazing and I am not dissing 17, but wouldn't you like to have 17, right? You and your team, yeah. right? Wouldn't you like to have that? And then if you, if Leslie has 17 and then Holly has 17 and Angela has 17 and Amber has 17, look what happens as a collective, right? All right. So, so this was kind of just like a, it was this kind of team call. Okay, <laughs> we're at the end of the month. There's still time to sell some kits. There's still some time to reel those people in because FOMO is real. Fear of missing out. Be excited. Be energetic. I don't want to take up a lot of your time because I know some of you are going to go out there and recruit a, a, a couple more. I feel it. I know it. I'm trying to recruit one more because mm -hmm. so far my biggest month ever has been five and I'm tied with that right now. And I just can't, I, I just can't let tonight go without giving it a good old push to beat my personal record right so what's motivating you what's pushing you because it ain't the 25 dollars that i'm going to get from that it's it's having a new record it's increasing my personal recruits by six <laughs> tap into that find it and go out there and slay it i love you guys do you have any questions before we get off here i knew this wasn't going to be a super long call because I just wanted to get you fired up, but I got work to do. It's the last day of the month. <laughs> yep. Any questions? Nope. I got to go to work. <laughs> work, 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 work. I'm, I'm so going proud, to. You guys. Listen, I am so proud. 17 is huge. And each one of you have done a lot of work to make that happen. So, um, Go get them, and I'll talk to you guys next week. All right? Love you guys so much. Bye. Bye.